Praise the good Lord. May God be glorified. I cannot fail to thank the Lord. Because he has prepared to touch someone. This is the day the Lord has made. That we rejoice in it. And we delight in it. We believe to see the goodness of the Lord even in this session. May God be glorified. I continue to welcome you those over the radio. 107.5 Inaman FM. And I also welcome all the different people on different platforms from different nations. God has made for us this day that he may show us some truth. The truth is what sets free. It's what makes someone free. I believe the truth will take you somewhere as well. It's not something very great that brings a change. It's something small. But it brings a change in life. And today I also believe there is something small you're going to get. We began our learning yesterday under the theme Development of the Inner Man. Development of the Inner Man. Praise the Lord. The development of the Inner Man. Does the inner man grow? Yes. Yeah. And it's the reason as to why our work in salvation is different yet we are all born again. What makes us different is that we are all born again. We are all born again. We are all born again. What manifests outwardly is de depends on what you are inside. We are all Just imagine a tube. Or a tire of a car. When the pressure inside is small, the heaviness dwells on it. But when the pressure is high, the tire can be firm. So what you are inside is very crucial. In your walk outwardly, it's a working. Can something be done can, or it comes automatically? Can it be done or it comes automatically? Do you have to work for it to get a difference in your inner man? Yes. Yeah. There are some things you can be slack on that your spiritual life can leak out of you. And there is something you can do that your spiritual life may sprout up. We were seeing yesterday that we, we take ourselves outwardly. Our character depends on the content we have, how far has it grown? The victory we get outwardly when we are overcoming the traps of the devil when you are overcoming the need and desires of the world what you are inside determines so much what you become outwardly praise be to the Lord the outward victory depends so much on what you are inside and our goal has never made us to fail uh, uh. no why do we fail on some situations because our inner state is bad our God doesn't expect us to sin but why is the sin overcome us sometimes because we drift inside praise the Lord when the spirit is strong brethren you walk as a champion a 
king and a priest outwardly. And our desire would you be to grow so big in, inside. When you grow bigger inside, that's the answer to the troubles of this world. There are some things that you just shout for and they just depart from you. You always have a victorious life just like you see Jesus was. Without a boat, he would walk on water. Without food, he would command a bread and it becomes multiplied. For the dead bodies, he would command and they would resurrect. He depended on what he was inside. Glory be the name of the Lord. Praise the mighty name so, of the Lord. So being built inside is very paramount. We saw in the evening that the life of man is in three. According to First Thessalonians, praise the Lord. Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 which says praise the Lord that the God of peace may he sanctify you indeed that your spirit and your souls that they may be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. First Thessalonians 5.23 now may the God of peace sanctify you completely and your whole spirit your soul and your body be preserved blameless and we saw that man himself is the spirit and he has a servant called the soul and both of them dwell in the body for the spirit to do its work it needs the soul. And for the spirit to do something, it still needs the body. Praise the Lord. But unfortunately, the most important is what we become slackful on when we are building. We build so much the wisdom. Praise the Lord. We take care of the bodies but the most important thing we normally take hold of the deceit of the devil. I took a lot of time doing the work of schools and then I saw how students suffer with books more so when they are doing the final exams. When the students say sleep do not take me. Let me sharpen my soul. Let me sharpen my wisdom. If sleep you've come, let me put my feet in the water. Let me wake up early morning at four so that I get what I'm studying. They used to become wise because they gave in so much time in building wisdom. If only to be the same way we struggle in building our spirit, in being established in the spirit, victory would be on our side or and I was in a certain place where there was a gym nearby. And I would see how the bodybuilders would struggle to build their bodies. They would try to carry the cement and heavy loads. They would punch the cement in the bugs. And you would see them lifting the heavy things. Then they climb up the mountains and then they come down. And they make pressure-ups every time. But why are they doing all that? They were trying to build this which is corruptible. And God is faithful. What you try so much to build, still you will sprout up in that. Those who fight so much to build their bodies, a time comes, just like you see those who do boxing. 
the wrestlers. Those who do wrestling. A time comes when even if you put them down on the cement, they cannot die. They just break your cement. However much you try to strangle them, if if it were us who don't do body building, you would just break immediately. But because they mind about the body, the body is not doing marvelous things. A time comes when they can hold a vehicle in one place and doesn't move away. And they carry heavy loads because they build the body so much. Those who build the wisdom. They start in a despiteful way. If you have seen a baby in, a student in baby class, they give them A, then they draw something else. Then they make a right eight, eight, eight. Praise the Lord. They are trying to build her wisdom. Then they speak English in Mami, a wrong way. Beat me. Teacher, this beat, they try ne, to speak English and they try. And wisdom is being sharpened. Then you start, they become something and you have an engineer from that place because their soul was trained. But it is so important in a continuous way if we do those things that would help us build our spirits. If we would save our minutes and we take care of the spiritual life I want to tell you that when your spirit is not building up, when it has not become strong, you will leave this world as a failure. You cannot overcome the power of the devil when the spirit is weak. You cannot overcome the power of the body, the lust of the body, when the spirit is weak. I know the kind of folly we have seen in life. It comes when your slothful about the spirit. When you become slothful about the spirit, the body becomes stronger and then the spirit of someone becomes a servant of the body. Praise the Lord. But it necessitates so much to do all we need to build the inner man. What does the Bible say? That we do not lose heart however much our outer word man is perishing our inward man is being renewed day by day they are lucky they did something so that the inner man is being renewed day by day how is your inner man is it being renewed every day is there some development in the spirit we said in the evening that how you get to know is when the things that used to overpower you overcoming them. That in the character you're becoming like Christ. Then you get to that you're growing up. Praise the Lord. When the spirit is strong, it serves so much among other diseases. Proverbs 18:14. A strong spirit, a man's spirit, will sustain him in moments of infirmity. It's not a weak spirit who can bear. When you are strong in the spirit, there are some affirm infirmities that can be cast out. Praise the Lord. So let us try so much to build our inner man. Glory to God. We all know it, brethren, that whatever we have to do work for God, it becomes important when it has come out of the spirit, when it has come out of 
the spirit. However much you try. But when the source of whatever you're doing comes from the soul. You're struggling in vain. That's why it necessitates so much. To build your spirit. If it's our prayers. That we bear fruits. If it's our worship. That it brings a sweet aroma to the road. If it's reading the Bible. That it may bring radiant things and aroma. Praise the Lord. When the Bible tells us in Galatians, Galatians 5, 17. That walk in the spirit. Very simple. By so doing, you will not fulfill the desires of the body. Because the body contradicts with the spirit always. And they are always fighting. But always walk in the spirit. That's when you not fulfill the desires of the body. That when someone walks in the body, they are Acts are contrary to the There is fornication. There is there is lowerness. There are many things. Discontentions. And things like that. I tell you. That those who do that will not inherit eternal life. Isn't that what we always see every day? But I said if you want to be. To walk in the spirit. If you want to get saved from them. That's when you not fulfill the desires of the body. Walk in the spirit. Walking in the spirit. It necessitates you to be. When your spirit is in a good state, it's being taken good care of. However much you to worship God, the Bible says in John 4, a time has come from verse 20. A time has come that those who worship God they will worship Him in truth and spirit. Because God is spirit and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. We lose out on so much time. Power and threatening. When we are before the Lord but when all we are doing they come about out of our mind and our bodies. That when God is seeking out, He's searching out for those who worship Him in truth and the Spirit. So it needs a living Spirit, a strong Spirit, out of it will come melodies. melodies. Sweet melodies. Good words that worship God. Without Without those, you're, in, you're doing something in vain. A spirit that has been taken care of, it worships God in every moment. Someone who is not in the spirit, they worship God just because it's a worship service, or because it's a session of worship, but a living spirit, and a strong spirit, out of it comes words. Oh God, you're so mighty. In a situation you've seen, God, you're so great. God, you're full of mercy and grace. What did I do so that you save me? What did I do so that you save me? What did I do so that I didn't give birth to a child? And then you've gone to the cancer institute. What did I do that my leg is not amputated? You've seen those on accidents. In what you did and in what you go through, when out of your heart comes a sweet aroma that is so, so nice for God. All of the time all the time you're in worshiping. So, not waiting. The only day they will say that this evening is for worship. Praise the Lord. Even if it's prayer, a fulfilled prayer is not what comes out of a loud voice and many words, but comes out of a person who has a living spirit and a strong spirit. Because the Bible says, 
Ephesians 6, 18. That as, you, as you pray daily, with prayers and supplications, Ephesians 6, 17 and 18. Praying all rise. With prayer and all supplication. All rise. Praying in the spirit always. Praise the Lord. Praying in the spirit always. With prayer and supplication. When someone has a living spirit. And it's a strong spirit. Wherever you be. You can pray. Not only when you've separated yourself. This is my day for praying. That is also good. But you can be when your spirit is alive. Even if you're in a taxi, when out of your spirit there is a prayer coming out, even if you're made it a tumor. A midst introduction sermons. When in your spirit there is a prayer coming out. That's how our living spirit does. Praise the Lord. Bible the Bible says there is somewhere when our Lord Jesus Christ said that when someone wants to pray don't always be boastful but always go to your room Matthew 6, 6 what room does he say? is that one in the desert that enter your closet within you in the inner man praise the Lord and then you pray always I read about a certain gentleman. He It was saying, to pray without ceasing. So he was just being used. But he wanted to take God of that Lord. So every time they would find him kneeling praying. Every time his masters would find him kneeling praying. Wasn't he going to lose out on the work? But he knew that a living spirit can pray even if you're washing dishes. Eh? Fathalonians 5.16 A living spirit can pray even if you're washing clothes. When a midst your spirit there is something coming out. When the spirit is alive it is functional all right in all situations. And when the Bible speaks about the word of God in Hebrews 4.12 That's why it says the word of God is alive and it works sharper than an end to a sword piercing even the vision of the soul and the bonds it even this Divide the soul and the spirit. It also joins that What up. does it mean? Separation of the spirit and the soul. That what comes outward. They can no longer dwell within you. When the spirit is there it can do its own. Even the soul is outward they may be in danger. But when there is a hedge, so when you give in yourself the word of God, because it's alive and it's powerful, one of the things it does it separates, it distinguishes the soul and the spirit. When the spirit is not separated from the soul, you can become outwardly. When you see a lady, the soul just grasps it and then you overcome. When when someone angers you, you get angered immediately and the following things is fighting. The outward situation when the ones ruling your life. But when there is a separation outwardly, the outward things cannot overcome the inward things. Brethren, we have a debt of building our 
our inner man glory to God Jesus tells us something and he says you know the one that chose me according to John 15 16 I don't know whether it was why he king because as if he was rebuking them, you did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you that should bear fruit you did not choose me but I chose you and I pointed you to bear fruit why are we existent? Praise the Lord. Why do we exist? According to Jesus' mission. We are alive so that we bear fruits. That's the reason as to why you're there. You did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you to bear fruits. Jesus chose you and he chose me that we bear fruit. Now something that has not grown does not bear fruit. Amen. Amen. It means for a tree to bear a fruit. It goes through the process of being pruned. Then it grows. And what ascertains its maturity is for it to start bearing the fruit. So when Jesus says that you did not choose me, but I chose you that you bear fruit, it means wherever you be, you should always prune for the spiritual life. And you Till it so that you take care of it until the extent of bearing fruits. Jesus knew that the world will always bear people who are not of it. And he knew it would necessitate for the fruits of love. And that's what he said, they will know by your fruits that you are my disciples. And he says in John 13:34 that a new commandment I give to you that you love one another as you love yourself. It's not a suggestion that brethren how suggesting that love but he says a new commandment I give you a new commandment I give to you that love your neighbor as you love yourself. Hebrews 13.1 the brethren that for the love of the brethren let it dwell all right. Let brotherly love continue. According to this world and how it struggles but we cannot become all that unless we nurture up our in reality. Then those fruits will be automatic. Love is not just brought out. It's a matter of Love just comes automatically when you're pruned in the vain Jesus Christ. He knew the world has its own troubles. It had storms and many shaking things. And it needs joy. Sometimes when we develop our inner man, joy can come. Even in situations, even in dangerous situations, when there is a river of joy sprouting out of your heart, we live in terrible moments when we've not tilled the soil of but our hearts. But once heart, you resort to the development of your spirit, spiritual fruits are inevitable. Praise the Lord. So why do we feel dry sometimes? The world has disappointed me. It has become heavy for me. Because inwardly we are lacking. The inward 
the inner man is not in a good state. Whenever the inner man is in a good state, he doesn't struggle with the outward things. You remain with your joy in all situations. And the Bible says in Hebrews 12 that even when Jesus was at the cross, joy was set before him. While we sang you mass again, praise the Lord. Even when he was at the cross in much pain, rivers of joy were within him and he decided to forgive amid his pain he was telling his father forgive them because they didn't know what they are doing but what caused that because our Lord Jesus Christ he was good spiritually. Praise the Lord. In troubles. Just like you see a white making a vehicle coming to Africa. And then he knows in Africa we have which are full Kat of holes. Let us make a strong vehicle that will be able to sustain those holes. Even God knew that when the spirit of man was coming in the world, that the world has troubles. And he said, when they take care of the spirits well, peace will always dwell in that situation. And the Bible says that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding let it always dwell in your spirit and life. Praise, Praise the Lord. Now, why do we miss out on all those? In troubles, we cry like others. In distress, we do like others. In lack, we feel like we are also dried up. We are lacking. Simply because we do not take good care of our spirits. There is no wealth than the inner man which is in a good state. What you have and what you don't have, they don't trouble you. And all the profitable things God has given you that are no longer meaningful. And others rejoice over the vehicle you have. Then you just see it as a wheelbarrow. It does not possess you. What you have does not possess you. When it's you reigning over what God has given you. Even if you get to another greater level, you remain humble when prayer doesn't overtake you. Because some of the fruits, some of the fruits of the mature spirit, of a spirit in a good state, is meekness. What does it mean? What does it mean? However big you may be, you can lower yourself. However much you have a lot of books, when you're among the uneducated, you're not proud. However much you're so rich, you can still have a relationship with the ordinary people. That's all meekness is. Amen. But all that, Whenever we have a life that has drifted back, whenever we have a life that has drifted back, all those fruits cannot be manifested. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to bear fruits and lasting fruits and fruits that abide forever. Without me, you can absolutely do nothing. All things are possible when the spirit of man is in a good state. When a, when a holy person is in a good state spiritually, they can rule on all the situations of the world on their knees. And what they say we are kings, we can reign indeed. You reign when you're raining on your knees in your spirit you have enough power to command 
things that are not well to make them well. And you say, all oh, those spirits, those evil spirits that are in this, we deny them and they all run away. All the evil spirits in our clan, the spirits of power that have been following us, you can overcome many things. And life is free. But all that depends on the development of your inner man. Therefore, I urge you just like you struggled to build up your wisdom for your soul to be sharpened for your children to be educated just like you struggle to take care of the body that's the way you should struggle to so much mind about the state of your inner man. Glory to God. When the spirit is in a good state, you can be guided by God in all situations in great and small things when the spirit is in a good state we get into so many problems because of the dismantled state of the spirit because you can no longer feel and hear the guidance of the Holy Spirit the Bible says in Romans 8.14 that all those who are led by the Spirit of God. Those are the sons of God. In the Old Testament, people are always led by certain things. That when I put this coat on him, and then it gets wet, I will know you're done with me. Now, let me bring this coat on if it remains not wet. When the dew has Put it around. Just like in Judges 6.36. That's the prayer Gideon made. But that was in the Old Testament. When the throne of the inner man had not been opened up. But when the kingdom of God came in us. When the throne of God came in our heart. God wants a heart in a good state to guide you because he knows what you do not know. A spiritual life is so good when the spirit is in a good state. The Holy Spirit can discipline you when you're walking at something false because you're the owner and you just want to walk. Then he tells you go back and make it. You go back and put it right. As if you don't but when you feel the voice of the spirit and you speak with someone and you make a statement that's not upright and you feel the conviction of the spirit repent and make right that situation repent and make right that situation what you've spoken has made the other one not good he can guide you in great and small things and there's some things you can't see when they're shining, they seem to be precious. But when you're in a good state of the spirit, there is a red light mm -mm, that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It tells you, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, don't. Mm -mm. Then in your wisdom, you start saying, mm -mm. because the God for you a powerful deal. Mm -mm, but in mm -mm, your heart, mm -mm, mm -mm. The conviction of the Holy Spirit no. is telling you no, you're just struggling for it. All those work when your spirit is in a good state. Praise the Lord. When the inner man is in a good state, we walk with God when he gets in great and small things. I always tell you when you put right your relationship with when God when your spirit is in a good state you may even be buying a pineapple and you say this is big but uh, it was taken up by the pests and you struggle and you take it home and you say I wish I accepted the Holy Spirit when they cooperate with the Spirit which is in a good state they can serve you in great and small things he can tell you the wife is beautiful that woman speaks so well 
bomu aha uh -huh. but you're taking a bomb for your soul you're taking a walk seated in the church i'm warning you then you start struggling in your mind but she has a gap <laughs> No ya galabi injinyo, ebi tabo bi, edobo zidi, na yeye wawanga, olimu state yenunje yomo yoyo. But if you're in a good state in your spirit, we would not always find problems in the world. In all issues, we would always overcome because of the cooperation between a developed spirit. And the spirit of God that worked together and who work in syndicate. Praise the Lord. We will not be making losses. Uh, uh, no. We will not always be in dangerous moments. God would always tell us remain home, don't go today. Don't go. You would want to struggle and to go, but He tells you, don't go. Then you know he's saving you from some accidents. Glory to God. And you would be having some conversation. And the inner voice tells you, let your words be few. Let your words be few. Don't add on many words. And then it would have saved you from many things that would come afterwards. But when the spirit is in the bad state, the Holy Spirit is there. And the knowledge that saves. But when the one that's speaking to is a baby. Oh, is a casualty. Is a sick person bedridden. In so, a difficult moment. So the Holy Spirit is there. God still wants to guide. God still wants to lead. But the one they are walking with. Baby spirit. Is a baby spirit? Oh, spirit here in coma. Oh, is a bedridden spirit. That's why we need to struggle so much daily to be lifted in our inner man. There's some things you're going to be delivered from. When you lift up your inner man, when you're guided so well, I can give you a message. 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 But you can say, I gave my money to that man and all of it was lost. Yet I felt some disturbance. But you were in that state as if you were in sleep. You were not steady in your spiritual life. May God help us to mind so much to always continue to always continue to build up our spiritual life. It takes life. a human spirit. A, a, de a developed human spirit. A strong human spirit. For someone to walk with God in the guidance of God. It takes a strong spirit for someone to walk overcoming the devil. For someone to overcome the power of sin. But we find a lot of endurances in our walk with Christ. Because our inward state is not good. Because the way we take care of it is not good. When they declare the month of July, you didn't get so much before the Lord. In August, you become cool. In the way you dedicate yourself to God. And every day in a man begins to drift down. Yet he had sharpened down. When your dreams had even changed. Have you ever gotten known that when the spirit is strong. You don't even just merely have vague dreams. Then I saw a dog just in me. Then others were surrounding me. Then there was a cow speaking to me. When the no, they're contradictory to each other. That's what happens to someone when the spirit is weak. But when the spirit is strong, you will be revealed to the heavens. You have meaningful dreams that don't even need where you go. But tell me what does it mean? They are allowed.
Chisinza ku state yo moyo go. It is hey, the state of your munafu. spirit. But our weak spirit. E meme ye kalakasa. No lota galoto. No chivana mu. No damu newe baka no chidamu. Kati gwenolo zambu webu tufu wacho. Na soka nenchi lota. Nemba nga zukuka. Nene omusaja golota mukadari. Musaja mufumbo. Nenchi damu nenchi lota. No lota kwa nenchi damu. E meme ngeta wanya. That's... Kigamba mugaloto wabirango moyo. You can even have bad dreams repeatedly when your spirit is in a bad state. What should we do for our mina man to be lifted up? The Bible told us First Peter 2.2 2, that as young birds desire so much for the milk of the swine that it may grow you in the salvation. Increase your time for the Bible. I spend time in reading it. You make it upon it. And you get enough time. You will be like a phone on a charger that is charging slowly and don't be discouraged when you're beginning and you're not feeling anything. Because even a phone that lost its battery, you can put on the charger and even don't know whether it's charging. Many spiritual things, they get meaning when the inner man is in a good state. Even if you read the Bible, there is that aroma you feel coming out of it. There is a way it embraces you. You feel satisfaction within you. Even if you are angry, you feel you are now satisfied. Praise the Lord. When you're in the Bible reading it, but if your spirit has drifted back, even if they speak the word God, God, you feel it's meaningless. So it always take enough time. First of all, in the word, when you do all that you're doing, for the lifting, uplifting of do your something. life, do something. Consider brethren. A body that is not doing anything becomes weak. And that's what I saw about the vehicles. Ogena supermarket motoka. Ogena mkatale motoka. Omubiri guta niko kubera nga kufuka byoto tegera. Your body becomes weak when you're not using it. Songo msaje ali muchalo. Yet someone in the village. Akera na vuka kagali. Who wakes up and raises his bicycle alima. and then goes Nebu to the farm. Nebu akati wa bera wa They become so strong physically. Omubiri ogukola akola. A body that always works Gwe out. Omubiri ogubera nga gubano obulam. Is the body that always has no life. Omoyo ogubera nga toina chokola. And the spirit that is always that not doing anything. Omoyo guta niko kuumba. It becomes weak. Omoyo it becomes ineffective. Because there are no spiritual exercises you do. But ask yourself. What exercises have I made? I noted to you about a certain man. He used to stay in Katoki. He was called Mr. Mkalazi. He used to work in the university. And he grew old. About 80 years. About 90 years. And he had his secrets. He would walk every day. His glasses. And he walked via Kazo. Why he say? At Makere University. He would walk to and from. He was always in Katoki. But the time they told him, No, you sit home, you're so old. He didn't even make a week before him crawling. I ever found him when rain had come. And he was all staggering. The one who had been walking strongly. So, likewise, the spirit is like that. If you don't have the spiritual exercises you do daily, your spirit will be there and you seem as if you don't have the inner. Now you are not sensing yourself. 
you're not sensing that you're there as <laughs> you. Amen. You see, even if it's books, you want to get wisdom. When the lady is educated, got her degrees, but where she has gotten married to, and just gives birth to children and just there in a home she doesn't speak any English everything husband will come back your children why are you bothering me they reach a moment and they be as if they are never educated even if it's English as if it has all gone but if that lady maybe is a teacher maybe the chair lady they write letters in English. They help people trade convenience to selling their land. That one will remain with their education. Every part you become slackful on and it's not functional and it's not functional it becomes weak. Likewise the spirit of man a day comes when you've not prayed. You've not got a time to worship. You've not got any time. Your time with God. A time comes when you become rusty inside. So always do something in your spiritual life. And every day you say you filled it up spiritually. I've prayed enough today. I got a time when I felt to pray, I worshipped him. I praised him. When you operate spiritually, you keep yourself vibrant and lively. You keep yourself vibrant and lively. You keep yourself you are sounding. A time comes when you are alive in the spirit. Praise the Lord. So don't become rusty in the spirit. To keep your spiritual life alive. Do something. When you can testify for Jesus. But then you spend two months when you've not told anyone about the good news of Jesus. I want to tell you, sure, be mindful of it. If you share someone the gospel of Jesus, someone who has not yet gotten saved, the and then you build someone spiritually, someone who got saved, you feel joy in your spirit. You have done an exercise. Praise the Lord. So keeping your spirit to be strong, when he's bearing the right fruits, when he's walking, overcoming the body, when he's walking well, melting the world before him, praise the Lord. It needs a spirit that exercises says it daily. Just, just like Mr. Mkala's from Katoke who used to walk daily. As we wind up, the Bible tells us Colossians 3.23 Do whatever you do. Do it heartily. Do it in spirit. A time has come that even if you're giving me something, you don't just give it to me out of love, but you feel there is a service you're doing. Even if it's going for burial, you're going because of the service of the Spirit to comfort. To comfort those. Whatever you do, do it in spirit. Not to please men, but when your relationship with God is what is pushing you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Brother, we need strong spirits if we are to overcome. The world has so many challenges. It has so many blockages. It has so many prisons. It has so many hindrances. Many spirits fighting. But when the might is coming, 
the spirit said and they say the mate one is coming he first goes by and they say let us first wait for the one who is coming and then they got the home of a weak person and then they make it its workshop they can get hold of the man and people get sick the, the moment the moment you are to get money, then all the children become sick. When you get peace with the husband, then it brings distortion. Then the horse becomes the workshop of the devil. strong in the spirit. But if you are strong, you call upon the living God usual and fire comes. You call upon the living God and fire comes daily. The inner man doesn't grow automatically. There are some things you do daily. Daily. To keep yourself in the presence of our Lord. This is the last scripture. When Jesus Christ was to choose his disciples. Or if he was going to do something. He would say so much for the presence of his father. And he would spend a day charging up. He would spend a night charging up. And during the day he does and he chooses the disciples and he does great miracles and after doing the miracles he would know some power has gone out of him he would go back to the mountain and he tells the disciples you go and he continues to be on the charger he charges up and that was the presence of God the Father and he charges up spiritually and whenever he was always charged up he will then do great works. But when we do great things, that's when you wait. That's when you become slothful. So let us try to take care of the inner man. In the good state he will be in, it will determine how we ought to walk outwards. I pray God may bless you, brethren. But don't allow the devil to deceive you. Depend on your mental capacity. Capability. When you depend on your mind, so the, the Bible says it over not on your own understanding. But always lean on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So try to do something every day. To get in a renewal. <coughs> to get in a what? Now we jail Zugo to for Bagamata in a what? In a energizing Amina. Amen. We were on top of the Bulunji. Mukama Queen Yomsa. Amen. Together, we are going to pray in the name of our Lord. And so we worship Tim Mulinich to it. Worship Tim. Your supremacy. Your supremacy will depend on your spiritual excellence. Obukulubobugenda <coughs> Tugenda kusoka kuwa yomu nyumba ya mkama. We are going to pray, but before we pray, we are going to give in the house of the Lord. And I urge you those behind the cameras to put for us on the screen the phone numbers that we use to give in. Because we are going to give in the house of the Lord. We are going to give in the house of the Lord. But I want the phone numbers so that we can use them in giving in. If you're there and your money is on mobile money, MTN number 
Our empty number. Is this one you're going to send the money on? 0785. 0585. 540. When you're giving the house of the Lord. If you have Airtel, you can also give in the house of the Lord. 0706. 0706-540-1002-M0B. Let us repeat them. Let us first give in. If you're going to give in using M10, 075 058 zero five eight zero ten zero zero air zero seven zero six zero Five four zero ten zero one zero two zero bili said I'm when we have all the time Oksika no kukungula te kulikoma Ate, that those going to use Momo Pen. Oba bage no kozisa Airtel Pen. O Airtel Pen. Merchant code ya fe. Our merchant code. Eya MTN. For MTN. Eya Momo Pen. Of Momo Pen. Eri thirty one. Is a certain way mu. Fifty eight. Atano mu nana. Eighteen. Kumi nam nana. Thirty one. A certain way mu. Fifty eight. Atano mu nana. Eighteen. Kumi nam nana. Ate merchant code ya Airtel Pen. And the Airtel merchant code. Ebera 11 Kominemu 62 Kagamubiri 185 Kominamnanatano Agendo kwa yo kwe mu kwe atero Those using air atero Obero nyika 185 You press ta 185 Star 9 hash Star mwenda hash Songa ta agendo kwa yo ku momo pe Agendo kwa yo sa M10 momo pe 165 Star chukumi mkaga tan Star 3 hash Star sato hash Ebida kwa bie yo gerera Then you can follow the prompts Let us pray for the offering Let us pray for the offering Let us pray for the offering And we give in the house of the Lord Mkama umuinzo ebi ntubi yon na Almighty God Ama soko ka ita ita Your eyes are moving around Ela kala bumuntu ye na agendo kwa yo And the single is going to give in Shemvansu mulu lo mkisa that's, that's why there is a blessing I think my brother is going to give in May you pour out a blessing and enlarge that territory that the enemy may be perverted that the territories may be enlarged that whatever they put their hands on may have a blessing for the sowing they are going to do. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. So give in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Creating me a clean heart. Oh, Sabo to all Yimba, Gabo Naban, I'll follow in Gajetuli, Kusinza Wakutio. Sabo to all Yimbo Lalakari. Nakusi Sangam Kama. Nakusi zanga mukama Ore chisa cha chinji Olo kwa kala kwa kunji No lwama
When we are beseeching you, my master, that we can't develop our soul, heavenly King of glory. We can't develop our inner man without your grace, heavenly Lord. Without your divine help, oh, my master, we come before you, King of glory, requesting for that grace, requesting for that grace that can help us, heavenly King of glory, to develop, heavenly King of glory, in our inner being, heavenly Lord, to be strengthened, heavenly King of glory, heavenly quiet of heaven and earth. We have heard your word. Your word has encouraged us, heavenly King of glory, that a stronger spirit will be able to resist some sicknesses, will be able to resist some situations that comes from our way, heavenly King of glory. But we come before your knees, requesting for you, King of glory, requesting for your divine help, requesting for a divine help of the Holy Spirit to help us, heavenly King of glory, that we may develop in our inner being, heavenly King of glory, that we may develop ever law in our inner man, heavenly King of glory. In many times, heavenly King of glory, we have been overcome by sin, we have been overcome by fornication, we have been overcome by adultery, we have been overcome, heavenly King of glory, in different ways, heavenly King of glory, due to the fact, heavenly King of kings, because our inner man is weak, because our inner man lacks the strength, because our inner man is not well cared of, but we come before your knees. After the 
after hearing your word, after hearing your word, after hearkening unto your word, we are requesting for you. May you come and help us. May you come and help us. Let there be someone that you help in this prayer and fasting season, heaven, Lord. Let there be a man that you recall. Let there be a lady that you recall. Let there be a minister that you recall. That you help us, or help us. You help us, all the spirit, heavenly King of glory, to develop our inner man, to develop our inner being, that we reach to that stature of having a fellowship with you. We reach to that stature, heavenly King of glory, of resembling you, our master. We were created in your image, but sin has made us, heavenly King of glory, to run short of your glory, to run short of the image that you created as heavenly King of kings. That's why we come before your knees, requesting for your mercy, requesting for your forgiveness, heavenly King of glory. Wherever we have walked in your ways, that do not help us, heavenly King of glory, to develop our inner being. Wherever we have done the activities, that to make our inner man, heavenly King of glory, to be weak on my master, we request for your forgiveness. May you come and forgive us, heavenly King of glory. May you come and wash us of my master. May you come and wash me, my King of glory. May you come and cleanse me, my helper. May you come and purify me with your precious blood, heavenly King of glory. We have spent a lot of time while Facebooking, heavenly King of glory. We have spent a lot of time on social media while doing things that do not help us to develop spiritually. We have spent a lot of time, heavenly King of glory, in these stories that do not help us to go deeper heavenly king of glory in understanding your will but we have heavenly king of glory that is the reason as to why we are weak in our inner being that is the reason as to why we have been losing heavenly king of glory we have lost the track heavenly king of kings but we return to you today we return to you heavenly king of glory in this prayer and fasting man requesting for a divine grace requesting for a divine power requesting for divine intervention in our our life, heavenly King of glory, divine visitation in our inner being, heavenly King of glory, requesting for a divine power to read your word, to read your word, to go deeper in your word, as you ordered Joshua, that do not let this book, heavenly King of glory, to disappear from you, meditate on it, heavenly King of glory, day and night, heavenly weight of heaven and earth. We return to you, requesting for that grace, the grace to read the word, the grace to read the word. As you told Ezekiel, heavenly King of glory, that he ought to eat the scroll. Give us the grace to eat the word. Give me the grace to eat the word. Give me the grace to spend more time to eat your word, oh, my master. To go deeper in your word, heavenly King of glory. Not only to read, but the grace to meditate. The grace to meditate your word. I need a divine grace. I I need that divine wisdom. I need that sacred heavenly king of glory that can help me heavenly king of glory. To read your word, heavenly King of glory. To meditate your word, heavenly King of glory. And confess your word. To confess your word in my life. To confess your word, heavenly King of glory. No matter the situations that are, no matter is whatever is surrounding me, that you give me that grace to read and meditate and confess that word upon my life. And confess that word upon my ministry. And confess your word, heavenly King of glory. In my family, heavenly King of glory. In my social cycles, heavenly Lord. May you come. May you come and recharge us. May you come and rehinder the fire in my life, heavenly King of glory. Rehinder the fire, the fire of prayer in me, the fire of worship in me. That I'm not only King of glory, be an occasional worshiper. That I worship heavenly King of glory. When they have declared heavenly King of glory, a worship service, heavenly Lord. May you charge my inner man. May you charge my spirit, heavenly Lord. That I reach to that stature, that I reach to that level, that I'll be able to to worship you in every situation heavenly king of glory in every time heavenly quake of heaven and earth Give us the grace, give us the grace, give us the grace, give us the power, give us the ability. Let there be a new world that will be reopened in us. Let there be a new world that will be reopened in me. That new world of worship, that new world of the King of Glory that comes out of my inner man, that comes out of my spirit. As the word says, the Heavenly King of Glory, the time is now that the Father is seeking for worshipers who worship from the Spirit, the Heavenly King of Glory. Help me, Heavenly Quite of the Heavenly. 
Daniel. Elle est pas allée dans une UCC. 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 But in our generation, we have spent a lot of time in the cosmic heavenly King of Glory. We have spent a lot of time in the heavenly Queen of Heaven and the Earth. And yet we expect a change. And yet we expect something supernatural to happen in the heavenly King of Glory. We have spent a lot of time in the heavenly King of Glory. In the things that do not profit us. In the things that do not fit us in the heavenly King of Glory. To come to the heavenly Lord. But today we have realized, we have realized, oh my master, we have realized, oh my King of Glory. That is why you hear the cry of your children. That is why you see a heavenly King of Glory, oh Lord. The cry of your children, requesting for your intervention, requesting for your intervention in our spiritual life, heavenly King of Glory. Requesting for your intervention in our ministry, heavenly King of Glory. Requesting for your involvement, heavenly Lord, in our inner man development. May you send that new grace. May you send that new power. May you send that new ability. That can see us through. That can enable us, heavenly King of Glory, to be established in Your word, to be established in Your ways. That we stop being stuck in Christian. We stop being stuck in believers, heavenly King of Glory. That are tossed by the storms, heavenly King of Glory. That are tossed by day and night, heavenly Queen of Heaven and the Earth. Let there be someone that you recall. Let there be someone that you recall. In our nation, in Uganda, in our land, heavenly King of Glory. In this ministry, heavenly King of Glory. May you rise a new generation. May you rise a new army. May you rise a new people, heavenly King of Glory. That are after your word. That are after your word. May you create a new heart. May you create a stony heart. May you remove every stony heart in us. You create in us, heavenly King of Glory. Flesh and heart, heavenly King of Glory. The one that is after Your word, the one that is ready to submit unto Your will, the one that is ready to spend a lot of time, heavenly King of Glory, reading Your word, searching for the divine secret, searching for the divine mystery that we ought to walk in, heavenly King of Glory. Babero wogo yamba, babero wogo tasa, onu na kuwalero, katwe wa yojori, duko ita katondo mwesigwa, duko ita katonda sobolo tu yamba, duko ita katonda sobolo tu anirira, asobolo kore zeme mezafe, jango kore zeme katondo mlamu, jango kore zeme mutu wango wamunda, jango kore zeme mutu wango wamunda, kore zeme mlamu wango wakusaba, kore zeme mlamu wango wakusaba, sobolo kwa kamu kama, sobolo kwa kaka katondo. Tuli wanonga tukulindiride, tukui wanonga tukukola, 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 tukui wanonga tukukola
that can help us to develop, that can help us to develop, that can help me to mature. Heavenly great of heaven and earth, enough is enough. When you will speak words, heavenly king of glory, that do not relate to your will, that we speak things, heavenly king of glory, that not we talk according to your will, that we do things, heavenly king of glory, that do not portray your glory, that not show your glory, heavenly king of glory. Enough is enough, my master. Here we come before you, calling on you, Lord. That may you come and intervene. May you come and intervene. May you come and intervene. If I told you, recall the Peter who denied you three times. Then there's someone that you recall. Then there be someone that you recall. No matter the times, heavenly King of Glory, that we have denied you, that we have denied your word, that we have forsaken you. They have just said you had fifth heavenly King of Glory. We come before your knees and request for heaven. King of glory, that have mass upon us, that you restrain us, heaven, Lord, that you re-empower us, heavenly King of glory, you redress us, heavenly King of glory. May you send the angel, may you send the angel, that you sent heavenly King of glory in the times of Joshua, that you sent him an angel, that undressed him, heavenly King of glory, whatever fill Beckerman, that were not was there before your heart. May you send the angel, that will undress us, heavenly King of glory, that will undress every weakness in the earth, that will dress and lousiness in the earth, that you dress us with your power. You dress us with that new power, the power to read the word, the power to walk in your holiness, the power to walk in your righteousness, the power to walk in your glory, heavenly King of glory, the power to bear the fruit, heavenly King of glory. We no one see, we can't bear the fruit without your help. When you are weak in a man, heavenly King of glory, he's weak on my master. We can't bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We can't love, heavenly King of glory. We can't humble ourselves, heavenly King of kings. If our spirits are weak, we can't manage to forgive. But we come before your knees. But we come before your knees. But we come before you, King of Glory. Let there be something that you do. Let there be something that you do that will activate our inner being. That will activate me, Heavenly King of Glory. Let there be zero any place, Heavenly King of Glory. That you lead us unto. May you stretch your heart. And you take me, Heavenly King of Glory, to that divine place, Heavenly Lord. And take that woman, Heavenly King. Of glory to that seven place, heavenly king of glory. Where are you give the grace? Where are you give the power? Where are you give the wisdom for people, heavenly king of glory to develop in their inner being, to develop in their spirit, heavenly king of glory? There is a divine prayer, there is a sacred prayer that I want to enter. That place, heavenly king of glory, that you met Moses, heavenly king of glory, the one who was a killer. But when you encountered him, heavenly great of heaven and earth, his life was transformed, heavenly Lord. His life was changed, heavenly king of glory. My master today, there you be someone that you recall. You draw that person, heavenly Lord, in that divine chamber, in those divine chambers, heavenly Lord, in that sacred place, heavenly king. King of glory, where are you meet and mold your travels? Where are you meet and train heavenly King of glory? That divine place, heavenly King of glory, that you used to train David from heavenly King of glory. That is the place we want to be. That is the place we want to be. That is the place that you should restore us. That when we get out of that place, heavenly King of glory, that we get out of that cave, heavenly King of glory, we shall be able to confront whatever situation that comes our way, whatever goliath that comes our way. May you come and help us. May you come and help us. May you come and help us. Let you be someone that you help. Let there be someone that you recall today. Let there be someone that you recall today. Let there be someone that you meet today. Let there be someone that you meet today. We yearn for a divine encounter, a divine visitation, heavenly King of Glory. That you reopen our eyes. That you open our understanding, O Lord. That we may hearken again unto your word, heavenly King of Glory. That you reopen our ears. That we may be able to listen unto your word, heavenly King of Glory. We have spent a lot of time with listening unto the word, but we have failed to apply the word. We have failed to walk by the word. We have failed to do the word. But today we ask God that grace that can help us, heavenly King of glory, to do your word, heavenly Lord, to do your will of my master. May you send that new grace. May you send that new grace. May you send that new grace upon our lives, heavenly Lord. May you send that new grace. May you send that new power. May you send that new will. In our lives, heavenly King of glory. In our inner beings, heavenly King of glory. That you recharge us, heavenly Lord. 
Recharge my inner man. Recharge my inner being. Recharge every leaking of glory. You deliver me. You rescue my inner being. You rescue my soul from the snares of the enemy. You rescue my inner being from the snares of the enemy. From the traps of the enemy. You rescue our inner being from the traps of the enemy. May you rescue us tonight. May you rescue us every leaking of glory. In this week, every leaking of glory. In this week, every leaking of kings of the Lord. In this lockdown, heavenly King of Glory, many people are losing up their pain, many people are backsliding, heaven Lord, due to the current situation that we are going through, heaven Lord. But my master, may you help someone not to look at the situation today, not to look at the current situation, heaven Lord, but look at heavenly King of Glory, the eternal glory that you prepared for us, the eternal glory that you prepared for your child. May you give us that praise, heavenly King of Glory, heavenly King of Kings, heaven Lord, may you give us that to wisdom, not to look at heavenly king of glory, whatever is surrounding us today, but you give us the inner world, that you give us the inner abilities, that you give us the inner wisdom, to look at that glory, that you have planned for us, that you have destined for us, heavenly queen of the heaven and earth, give me the grace, give us the grace, heaven Lord, to work out our salvation, to work out our salvation, heaven Lord. Heavenly praise of the heaven and the earth. Enough is enough of us having heavenly king of glory. A public salvation ever Lord. Where we feel the boldness. Where we are in public heavenly king of glory. But in our sacred land, we do things that do not glorify your name. In our sacred ways, we do things that do not glorify your name. That do not bring your image heavenly king of glory. Let there be someone that you recall. That you change us on my master, that you change us on my king of glory, that you change us on my redeemer, that you change us on my prince of peace, that you change us heavenly king of glory, you give us that new ability. Renew us, heavenly King of glory. Renew us, heavenly King of glory. Renew my inner being. Renew my prayer life, heavenly Lord. Renew my life of reading the word. Renew my life of fellowship. Renew my life, heavenly King of glory. Many of us have lacked the strength to fellowship, heavenly King of glory. In this lockdown, heavenly King of glory. Many people are being committed. Many people are being taken by the earthly things, heavenly King of glory. That do not profit as much. That do not heavenly King of glory. Who will not sustain us, heavenly King of glory, heavenly Queen of heaven and earth. May you reopen our eyes. May you reopen heavenly King of glory. You refill us again. You refill us again. Refill me again with your inner power. Refill me again. Refill my inner man. Refill my inner man. May you feel heavenly King of glory. May you feel my inner cup. May you feel my inner cup. That it overflows heavenly King of glory. That it overflows on my master. That it overflows heavenly King of glory. May you refill me ever Lord. May you refill me my King of glory. That out of me ever long, living waters will flow, life will flow ever long. That the words that I speak ever long will be words of life, heavenly quench of the heaven and the earth. That when we start to share, we share life, that we share love. One thing that I know, we can't share what we do not have. If at all inside me is full of bitterness, heaven, I'll end up sharing bitterness. But my father yearn to share life, heavenly king of glory. May you come and deposit life in me. May you come and deposit life in me. That when I stand, heavenly king of glory, in my family, I share life. In my ministry, I share life. In my social side, heavenly king of glory, I'll be able to share life. And the life that I die up unto you, heavenly quaint of the heaven and the earth. As the stars tap the sun, heavenly king of glory, tap the light from the sun. We also come to you, we also get back to you, that we want to tap the light, we want to tap the light from you, we want to walk by your light, we want to walk by your glory. We give you glory, Lord, because you're going to do it in our land. We give you glory, my master, because you're igniting us, because you're rising as the valley king of glory, because you're refilling as the valley king of kings. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the worship, because you're mighty, Lord. 
Thank you, my King of Glory. Thank you for the moment that you have given us to come before your presence. Thank you for the new people that you are giving the world to rise up again. Thank you for this session that you have enabled as the heavenly King of Glory to go through heavenly law. I know there is someone that you have strengthened the below. I know there is someone that you have given a new beginning. I know there is someone that you have given a new home. There's a new living water. There's a new living fountain that is being reopened in us. That is being reopened in this ministry. Thank you, heavenly King of Glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks, heavenly King of Glory. Because you're mighty. Because you're spendulous. Because you're majestic. Because you're honorable. As we are winding this session, may you take all the glory. May you take all the honor. May you take all the praises, heavenly King of Glory. When you are preparing heaven to enter into another session, let your grace of prayer, let your grace of supplication, let your grace of intercession continue flowing in our life, continue flowing in the different channels, continue devoting heavenly King of Glory, in different social media, where are your people traveling from, where are your people joining us, heavenly King of Glory, that grace continue flowing, let that grace continue flowing heaven all, that today heavenly King of Glory. We may live a life of difference. We may live this place, heavenly King of Glory. When we are changed, devil, Lord. When you are transformed, heavenly King of Glory. May you take all the glory. May you take all the honor. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe.